first, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how much more he can take. He won't be able to take any more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up for the big knees to the head. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmago Meadow. Yeah, Hafiz Nurmago Meadow, fantastic time. for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Punch over the top. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big power shot there. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into the opponent's stock. Beating his leg up. Beautiful kick. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is the jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Effective punch there by Nago Mano. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. All right, so he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do. Timed it perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you can get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe it's... All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. situation with this fighter you're potentially playing with fire. Arch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. And will land the single ground strike there. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh man, I like half guard as a top fighter, I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. The position of the underhook it opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Nice kick. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Dougie. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Volume oh man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got 
to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rubiano has called a stop in this contest at 33 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib the Eagle. 